Okay, so guys, it's chap number one is download this file on Park CPU. Link in the description, okay? Open this folder and go to this on Park CPU. Now click on check status. Wait some time. As soon as done, if this shows park over here, do this on park all. It will take some time. Just wait. When it's done, just close it. Okay, step number two. Go to your control panel. Find power options over here. Now make sure to turn this high performance on all the time whenever you play CSGO. And it will give you 100% of your processor speed, CPU speed and you will get more FPS in your games. Okay, so step number 3, go to your stream library. Find CSGO over here, go to properties. Go to set launch options. Make sure you're using these settings. Dash high and dash frequency 60. Frequency 60 is basically a refresh rate. I'm using 60 refresh rate. If you want to know which refresh rate you're using, you go to simply your display settings like here. Display adapter properties monitor and you can see the refresh rate you're using over here i'm using 60 it gives me a more fps so yeah make sure you're using these settings click ok and that's it now start your csgo from your stream okay so first thing you need to do is open your console you can see my fps 118 over here right here fps minus call max do this zero now type fps max menu this command do this zero okay now you can see my fps i'm getting 300 plus fps now go to your options audio settings advanced 3d audio processing make sure it's no do this no now go to video settings please follow my settings which settings i'm using and definitely you will get more fps use normal 4.3 in aspect ratio resolution depends on your monitor and you can use this resolution most of the professional players in csgo use this this resolution you can use this make sure it's display mode is full screen okay now go to advanced video, global shadow quality to very low, model low, effect detail to low, use everything on low, multi core rendering enable, multi sampling anti-aliasing mode to none, FXA anti-aliasing to enable, texture filtering mode to bilinear, wait for vertical sync to disable motion blur disable and that's it now apply changes now you can see your resolution will be changed and now you can test your fps in the game so let's go and start the game okay so guys as you can see i'm getting 200 plus fps now in the main menu i was getting 300 plus but that was main menu you get different fps in the game I think this is still better to improve your FPS in your games in some easy steps. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, subscribe the channel for more and I'll see you in my next video. Take care and I love you guys.